Hello everybody, this is Calfax here with a new video and in this video I'm gonna go uh, Deer Slayer task and kill uh, Jungle Strike Worms. So for my gear in this video I'm using the Mask of the Green Worm for uh, the extra Jungle Strike Worm Slayer XP and for the uh, extra 10th double drop. Also I'm using the Fire Keep, sorry Domain's Whisper. Uh, Bandos chest plate and tacits, imp candle, uh, offhand axe, and crisis sword. Also, the Bandos gloves, warrior ring, and Bandos boots. My price, my prison aura, and a bone crusher. I don't really need bone crusher, but I don't really need anything else, so that's what I'm doing. Also, in my inventory, I have the Slayer helmet, uh, just in case, and to check on how many kills I have left, because with this one, you can always see how many you've killed already. Also, I'm bringing the spring cleaner just in case, and the gem bag, and a barrel teleport. So, let's get going. So, I'm teleporting to jungle strike worms, and one thing I gotta say about these guys is that um, they have this special attack where they bury underground and they uh, come at you and dig up again and attack you. Uh, basically, at that point, you should run away uh, like so, because otherwise they will do quite a lot of damage. Um, I'll try to show you an example in a short amount of time here. So, uh, if I just stop attacking this one, he should pretty soon. He should. Oh, never mind. Um, well, let's get back to that in a few seconds. Alright, come on, attack me. Alright, so it doesn't happen every time because I killed him a little bit too fast right now. Um, it will happen eventually, and then you just have to run away. Also, they do have a range attack, but you can range them. Uh, personally, I think that melee is easier because they don't take as much damage uh, when you melee them. Also, regenerate does heal quite a lot, and if you have sacrifice, that will also heal you up pretty well. So you don't really need food. Also, they drop lobsters, so you should be good with that food, um, depending on your combat level, of course. Another thing is they drop a lot of noted herbs and some super defense potions which you can stack up pretty well. Because uh, there's one dose each time. Uh, so that's worth quite a lot of money after the red line. Also they drop some um, pineapple, no not pineapple, they drop uh, papayas. Uh, which are worth quite a lot and if you have the helmet that I have then you sometimes get a double drop on the papayas, which means it's worth it more. So that's like, um, well, over 50k at least uh, in one drop. So that's pretty good. Also, they can drop a hex quest, which at, at the moment is worth about 700k, I believe, uh, because it went up quite a lot. And last time I got it, it was worth about 1 million. So I sold it for 980k last time. And uh, just a quick update about the Slayer tasks. This is my ninth Slayer task right now. And uh, still working my way up to the 1000. And I'm not gonna give up on you guys. And one lucky guy is gonna get that uh, half of that money. So far, I think I made about 5 mil from those uh, 8 tasks. So we're getting money pretty fast. So uh, half of that money in the end is gonna be a lot. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but um, I'm not sure if I should give everything to one person because it might actually be quite a lot of money. So uh, give me a little tip on that. Should I give it to two people? Should I maybe give it to three? Or should I just give it to one person? Um, I hope you like this video and keep watching, stay tuned for more. Uh, I will keep posting videos this week. Hopefully a lot of uh, Slayer guides as well as um, 
maybe a few other low-level things because I have a few friends who are uh, new to the game so I want to teach them a few things also I just want to have some fun because uh, yeah and uh, have a nice day everybody see you soon